All right, lesson 35, we're going to factor the greatest common factor, and then we're going to do canceling. So we found the GCF, and we just wrote it down, right? But now we have to say what's left over. So when you factor, you're writing it as a product of factors. I will show you what I mean. So write this down, 2AX plus 2AC. Now, factoring, there's like a ton of factoring, okay? We're starting with just GCF today, okay? But we'll move into all kinds of other factoring eventually as well. So for now, just the GCF. So what number is common to both terms? Two. Good job. What variable is common to both terms? So that is the GCF, okay? If it asks you to just write the GCF, that's what you put. All right, but this one says to write it as a product of factors or to factor it. So if I took out a 2a, what is left in this first term? An x. Then there's a plus sign, all right? And then I took out a 2a from this term, what is left? Good. So if I were to distribute this, I would get 2ax plus 2ac, which is what we started with, okay? So I'm just writing it as a product of factors. Factor, tractor. Just factor out a 2a. Yes? No, that is the answer. You just write it down. All right. So write this down. 15a squared, z to the 8th, minus 35z to the 5th, a. So we're looking for the biggest number that goes into 15 and 35, which is what? 5. Okay. And then we're looking for how many A's are common to each term, which is what? One. One is common to each. Good. And then how many Z's are common to each? Five. Right. So we do Z to the fifth. All right. So when you take out the five, you're really dividing by five. Or you could think of it as five times what would give me 15 to get back? Three. Three. Okay, but with the variables, when you take out 1a, how many are left? Zero. No, one. I took one out, so there is one left. Okay, how many z's did I take out? Five, and so there were eight. That means there are three z's left. Okay, so what would I get if I multiplied this to this? I would get 15a squared z to the eighth which is what I started with, okay? Now, I took out a 5 from this. What's left over? 7, because it has to be able to multiply back to get you 35, okay? I took out an A, and there was only one A, right? And I took out all five Zs, so that's the answer, because you took out all the variables from this one, all right? So, boom, I factor, tractored with just the GCF, okay? All right, go ahead and write this one down. Two a squared b squared plus two a cubed b squared plus two a cubed b to the sixth. All right, Enerol, what number is common to all three terms? I called on someone. Enerol? That's right. All right, Reagan, how many a's are common to all three terms? Two. So I'm going to take out a squared, all right? And Kaylee, how many b's are common? Two. So we always pick the lowest exponent on those, right? Now, when you do your parentheses for what you factored out, you need to leave space for three terms on this problem because there are one, two, three terms. Now, this first term is where most people mess up right here. You just took out 2a squared b squared. You have to be able to multiply back. One. Yeah to get 2a squared b squared. So please put a 1 there, okay? You're dividing by the whole thing. It all came out. You need a 1. Now I have this plus sign, all right? Then I took out the 2. I took out two of these three a's, so how many are left? 1. I took out both b's, so that's gone, okay? Plus, I took out the 2. I took out two of the three a's, so how many are left? 1. one. And I took out two of the six Bs. How many are left? Four. Four. All right. And that is my answer.
All right, let's try another one. All right, Miles, what is the GCF? Tell me everything that factors out of both terms. Good job. M squared, Y. All right, so both of them have at least two M's and one Y. All right, and so Jack, what is left when you take out M squared Y for that whole first term? Good, and? Good. You took one Y out, so there's still one left. Plus, all right, and Hector, what do I have to leave here if I took the whole thing out? Yeah. Uh-uh. You got to be able to multiply back to get M squared Y. Good. And leave a one there. All right, last one of the factoring. All right, so we need a GCF. Lila, what is common to all three terms? Tell me everything. Um, a squared, x, squared, and x squared. Good job. A squared, x, m squared. Now leave your parentheses big enough for three things. So Giselle, if I took out a squared, x, m squared, what is left for the first term? One eight, and, and how many x's? Good. Good. Right? So you don't have to write it. Good job. All right. And let's go, Lily, what is left here if I take out all that stuff? Just an M. I agree with you. Okay. And Luke, what is left here? Close. So you took out two A's. How many are left? Good. No M's, because you took two out, right? All right. All right. This next thing is called canceling. Cancel schmancel. All right. So write this down. We have four parentheses, A plus or A minus three all over four. Okay. So they already factored for us. Eventually we're gonna have to factor out the four, but they factored the four out for us, right? So what can cancel now? Yes, Andrew. Four. Good. The reason those cancel is because they're both being multiplied. If I had a minus 4 divided by 4, would the force cancel? No. no. Okay, so this is answer, this one's answer is just a minus 3. All right, force cancel out. Yay. All right, here's another one where they already factored for us. They took the 3 out. Okay. What cancels in this one, everyone? Yeah, you can cancel the x minus 2 because they're both being multiplied to the 3. All right, so those are easy and nice. Now let's do the ones where they haven't factored. We have to do it for ourselves. So you only factor the numerator, okay? We're just going to factor the top. So Ellie, what is common to both terms right here? Four. All right, and then you leave space for two things that you factored out of four. So um, Hanifa, if I take out a four, what do I have to leave here? Good. And then I took a 4 out from the second term, so I would leave an x all over 4. All right, now what cancels, everyone? And my answer is 1 minus x. All right, great job. Now on this next one, we got a factor tractor again. My board is like a little weird. Here we go. Stay there. Okay. All right, so in the numerator cruise, what factors out of both terms? And? Great. 7 and x. All right, so Austin, if I take a 7x out from a 7x, what do I need to leave here? Good. All right, and then minus, Victoria, what goes here if I take out a 7x? Don't subtract, divide. Good. All right, and then all over 7x. What cancels on this one? Great, and you get 1 minus 7x as your answer. All right, let's try some whiteboards. It's 